So in today's video, I'm going to be checking out an AI code generation platform called Tempo Labs. And you've seen other videos that I've done, such as Lovable and Bolt.new, where you can come in and use natural language prompts and the AI will actually build out the applications that you're asking for pretty simply and easily. For people that are not developers, this is a huge game changer. Tempo Labs takes things to a different level, though, and they give you more visibility into the different components that are being created under the covers to actually build your application out. So let's check it out. One of the things that I like is their homepage here it seems to be somewhat interactive. So you can kind of come here and like move these components around on the page wherever you want. It's kind of an interesting way of getting people engaged right off the bat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click log in here and that goes ahead and logs in with your actual GitHub account that you have connected. And I'm going to go ahead and say create project. And so the first thing we do is we can either create a new app, we can connect to an existing GitHub repository or design on a blank canvas. I want to select generate new app and click next. And they give you some examples down here. So e-learning platform course interface. Uh, voice activated commands for accessibility, tooltip hover information. I'm just going to say a SaaS company landing page with additional pages for content. And we'll just say generate. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to go out and create a requirements document, which you can see it building up here, up at the top. It gives you information about what this is going to entail. And then it starts using mermaid code to start building out user flows, which is pretty cool. So if we go ahead and open this up, we can see all of the flows that this app will have based on what Tempo Labs is building for us. We can also then see that we're starting to get the actual UI underneath the design section here built out and it's creating all the different components that it's going to need to uh, build this wireframe out. So you can see on the left here, it, it created the wireframe specs, it created routes for the different pages, it's generating all of the components that are going to be required for this. Now, one thing I'll mention is Tempo Labs does give you 500,000 daily tokens for free. I will say that I feel like it goes through those tokens pretty quickly. So everything I've done so far has used up 27,000 tokens so far, and it's not done quite yet. But we're going to go ahead and just let this build out. And while it builds out, I'll also mention that there's a code tab up here where you can come in and see like a VS Code type of an interface. Over on the left, you have your DOM tree for your actual app. You have assets that are being used within this app, as well as the ability to go to reactcomponents.com and use components from there. You also have the file selector where you can see all the different files that Tempo Labs is currently building out. And down here, you have your terminal screen like you would within VS Code. Okay, and it looks like it's actually done with my app here. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom this design view out a little bit and we can see the overall flow here. So if we zoom in on these, you'll see this is the overall page. Then underneath here, we have like the header component. We have the hero section. We have a features grid. We have pricing section. We have a blog section. So it's created all of those components just like that from a simple prompt. And it's provided us the user flow diagrams as well as visual versions of what we've actually built out here. Much like the other code editors as well, we have uh, when problems are detected, it'll come up and give you information about the error, but it will also give you the ability to try and fix this with AI. So I'm going to go ahead and click fix with AI. So it's explaining that the errors are related to missing storyboard files that Tailwind is trying to process. I've updated. Okay, so it looks like we have no errors. We're good to go here. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at how this app looks at the moment in the preview mode. So in the upper right hand corner here, you have this little play icon that says view app in a new tab. So I'll go ahead and click that. And you'll, oh, I had nice animation when this first loaded but you can see that we have a couple menu items up here with some really cool animations. You could have your logo here, sign in, get started. We have uh, powerful features down here with uh, relevant context icons here. 
We have our pricing information, you know, give you basic pro or enterprise and then latest resources. And this would be like our blog pages. Um, what I'm wondering is if similar to Lovable with their, their new visual editing capability, I'm wondering if we can come in and actually edit any of these things on the fly right within the UI here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to one of the components, so the hero section here, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom this in a little bit. And I'm going to select to select a component on here to see if I can actually edit, like for example, this button. So I can see the button here, I can edit the dynamic text looks like I have the ability to come in and control the fill color. So for example, let's say I wanted to make this a uh, purple color. I can just go ahead and select the purple color that I want. And now that's made that change on my form. And you'll see that it still has a hover state, but the color of the button itself has been changed. Let's say, for example, we want to se select this text box here and we want to change some information about the text. Say we want to make the font size bigger. We could come underneath here and we can select to have a bigger font size. So as you can see, this gives you the ability to come in with a natural language prompt, create an application with an AI code generation capability under the covers. It gives you a requirements document. It gives you a user flow diagram. It builds out the actual app itself and it gives you a visual version of all of the components that make up the app with the ability to come in and actually edit different elements of that app right within a UI like this. So I'm not sure how this stacks up against the other solutions, but this seems to give you a lot of information that some of the others don't. I would assume that the other services are actually building these things under the covers, but they don't necessarily give you access to all of them right here within the UI. And then you also have the AI capability where you can just come over and actually talk to the AI to have it make changes to your actual app as well. So check it out and let me know what you think.